The past few days at Sharp Memorial Hospital in San Diego, California, were filled with anticipation for a precious moment. The entire family had been eagerly preparing for this occasion. Upon learning that Angie was pregnant again, Angie and Gino were thrilled to expand their family further. They had already been blessed with two healthy boys, but now they were hoping for a girl, completing their dream. The news from the doctors about the pregnancy gender filled them with joy and celebration. Angie and Gino had been married for some time and were ready to grow their family. With two sons already bringing them immense joy, they still felt a sense of incompleteness. They longed for more children and were confident in their ability to care for them. When they confirmed Angie's pregnancy, they wasted no time in seeking medical care to ensure her and the baby's health. Early checkups indicated a healthy progression. However, during a routine visit, their doctor, seen Danishman, detected a sudden fluid imbalance at 26 and a half weeks. This unexpected development prompted Dr. Danishman to refer Angie to a specialist, causing concern and raising questions for the couple. They feared the worst but awaited further explanation and guidance from the medical team. Since pregnant women require utmost care and protection, the doctor emphasized the need to prioritize Angie's health. He advised her, Angie, it's time for us to be at the hospital. Without hesitation, the couple followed the doctor's instructions to ensure the safety of Angie and their baby. The doctors explained that Angie required extra attention because her pregnancy was high risk. This meant potential complications that could affect both her and the baby's health, necessitating round-the-clock care. If you're wondering why there's such concern over Angie's pregnancy, the explanation is clear. She wasn't expecting just one baby, but three. Carrying triplets posed significant challenges that warranted close monitoring to ensure everything progressed smoothly. Angie and Gino, upon learning they were expecting triplets, were overjoyed despite the added responsibilities. Two of the babies shared a placenta, which posed some challenges as one might not grow as large as the others, though it wasn't a major issue in itself. Angie's pregnancy presented various challenges, including a high likelihood of premature delivery and potential complications such as brain bleeds or underdeveloped lungs for the triplets. These risks required careful management to ensure the best possible outcome for the babies both during and after birth. Now the health of all three babies was at stake, and Angie's need for specialized care was crucial. This revelation marked one of the most stressful periods for the couple. Aware that stress and tension are unhealthy for pregnant women, the medical staff worked diligently to alleviate Angie's anxieties. By the time Angie reached 27 weeks of pregnancy, her belly had grown significantly, and she had been admitted to the hospital for monitoring. While this was necessary for the health of her pregnancy, it meant being separated from her husband and boys. Her focus now shifted entirely to her unborn babies. Navigating through the challenges of a high-risk pregnancy, Angie felt increasingly burdened. Despite knowing she needed to stay calm and relaxed, she found it increasingly difficult. Anything could happen between now and my due date, she confided, acknowledging the heightened stress of carrying triplets compared to a single baby. As Angie reflected on her situation during interviews, she admitted feeling nervous about her and her baby's future. We hear a lot of stories, she shared, her mind clouded with tales of pregnancy complications and failed outcomes. Her nerves were understandably frayed as she grappled with the uncertainties ahead. Considering the complexities faced by mothers like Angie, Tony Hicks, from the Perinatal Special Care Unit at Sharp Memorial Hospital, emphasized the importance of empathy. Drawing from years of experience, Tony highlighted the need to support expecting mothers through complications, offering motivation and positivity during such challenging times. Tony elaborates on her approach when dealing with pregnant women at the hospital, emphasizing, they're taken away from everything that's normal. So by telling them, you know, I understand this is really hard for you, that's huge for patients. She underscores the importance of offering emotional support, being a shoulder to cry on, or simply listening attentively to their concerns. While Angie's pregnancy was unique, it wasn't unprecedented. 
Many women have experienced pregnancies with triplets, each case managed by a specialized medical team referred to as Babies AB. And C, Angie, and Gino fervently hoped for the health of all three babies. Due to the high-risk nature of Angie's pregnancy, doctors closely monitored her until the 32nd week. Everyone, including the family, eagerly anticipated the arrival of the triplets. The medical team was deeply invested in Angie's pregnancy journey, committed to ensuring the best possible outcome for the babies. Finally, after meticulous care to sustain a healthy pregnancy, Angie went into labor at 32 weeks and one day. This milestone brought immense relief, indicating she had successfully carried the babies without further complications. It was a moment of joy and satisfaction for everyone involved, knowing that their efforts had paid off. Given the complexities involved, Angie's doctors opted for a caesarean section to manage the delivery effectively and safely. As preparations began, Angie eagerly anticipated the moment she would finally give birth after such a challenging and prolonged journey. After longing to touch and kiss them as soon as I see them, confessed Angie, reflecting on her anticipation. Separated from her husband and sons in the hospital, her priority was ensuring the well-being of her babies and herself. A challenging but necessary journey. For Angie and her husband, the journey from joyously discovering her pregnancy to facing devastating complications had been a roller coaster. Ultimately, Angie successfully delivered her babies, each swiftly transferred to specialized neonatal care. Immediately after birth, each baby underwent careful examination to ensure their health was stable. Medical staff assisted with their breathing and stabilized them before transferring them to the neonatal intensive care unit. Handling premature newborns required meticulous care. The medical team worked diligently to support the baby's lung function, while Angie and Gino could only watch with tears of hope and concern from a distance. As doctors dedicated themselves to the baby's well-being, Angie and Gino prayed silently. Their prayers were answered, Daniela, Annabella and Camilla were stable and moved to intensive care, a relief for the relieved parents. Despite the initial stability, the baby's small size and prematurity meant ongoing vigilance. These babies are still small and predisposed to complications, cautioned their doctor. Each baby required individualized care to ensure their continued health and development. And once again, considering the long-term issues, but so far, we're excited that everything has turned out very well," Dr. Danishmand revealed in his interview. Angie and Gino could now breathe a little easier, relieved that their biggest fear of the triplets not being born healthy was over. The doctors and the couple had collaborated successfully, a reason for celebration. After Angie had rested, she was eager to meet her babies. With Gino by her side, they made their way to the neonatal unit where the babies had been closely monitored. Finally, they could see them up close and interact intimately with them. Angie had longed for a daughter, and holding one of her babies close to her chest, she whispered, it feels so right. This moment was deeply emotional for her after waiting patiently for this day. Tears streamed down her cheeks as she cradled her baby. Pregnancy is undeniably challenging, requiring immense physical and mental strength to successfully give birth. Angie had endured all the hardships her pregnancy brought, and now she felt a sense of liberation. Reflecting on the experience, she shared, It was just a few hours apart from them, but I really missed them. She expressed happiness at being reunited with her babies. The experience was taxing not only for Angie but also for Gino. While he had been thrilled at the news of expecting triplets, he had also been equally anxious about the complications Angie faced. When he met his daughter, Annabella, and saw her open her eyes, it was a special and touching moment for him. Delighted to hold his new daughter, Gino felt an immediate connection with her. Beautiful, he expressed, overwhelmed with emotion. Now he could relax and embrace his role as the father of baby girls. The successful birth of the triplets was made possible by the dedicated efforts of the entire midwifery team at Sharp Memorial Hospital. Angie, now a mother of two sons and three new baby girls, looked forward eagerly to taking on her new responsibilities. 
It's truly a dream come true to have them come into my life, Angie confessed, filled with joy and gratitude.